So yeah, you got you, yeah, count down again. It's 40, 55 minutes. What uh, how what was your day like today? I uh, relaxed quite a bit, did some tanning and pretty much just posed and made sure I dialed in all right. You feel like you're you do you feel like you're what percentage do you feel like you're better than last year? Two hundred. So you're two hundred percent better than Damn. Yeah. Couldn't be prouder of the guy. You know, we've uh, we've had a really good year. And uh, I've seen his dedication since he started training for the old and um, you know, I know he's, he's stuck to his diet, he's stuck to his, his routine, and uh, he's been in good spirits. I've not seen the guy in a bad mood since he started training for this, this show, and he's been all smiles right up to right now, even when he should be as grumpy as anybody could be. <laughs> he's, in a, he's in a really good mood, and this can only be a good thing. Confidence, right? Ironically, Jay maintains a temporary state of weakness in order to be strong. He is intentionally dehydrated, hungry, and emotionless. Keeping his temperature low by laying on the ground, Jay rests his body, saving all energy for today's prejudging event. I did everything as planned, on cue, and to the best of my ability. That's, uh, you know, what a champion does. And we found that our way is to be our best and train the way the way you know that seems to be the best way to win and I think uh, I think you know I did enough. I think I did enough to win. But you know, with me, it's about getting the job done and doing it. You know, at 100 percent, packing up and heading back. No, that's why Jay's is where he is. You know, that's why Jay makes the money that he makes, so to speak. Jay doesn't make the money that he makes and, and get the things that he has because he's just Mr. Olympia and is a great bodybuilder. You know, he does it because he is a role model and because he's dependable and reliable. And, you know, he's one of the guys that, that really gets it, you know, and treats this like a business. Um, and then it's professional every time you deal with him. So, you know, aside from being a good guy and aside from taking the time to spend the time with his fans and then, you know, have words with everybody, um, you know, he's a pro in every way, shape, or form, so. But definitely, you know, as a champion, it's like, you do sometimes get above what you think and last year humbled me big, you know, because anything can happen. It don't matter how you look two days before the show or two days after, it's all comes down to like right now. And I didn't hit it 100% and I went from being, you know, America's favorite to, you know, a few people feel felt I got a gift, you know. So this year I trained with more fire than I ever have in my total career, which I should do every year. But it takes moments like that just to make you recognize. Take something like that and open your eyes. And, uh, you know, you try to do everything as a champion, try to represent all the time, but like I said, this is a major representation of what you do. This is why I am who I am, you know, is this contest. This is the elite.